Hello and welcome back to the World of Warcraft Arena World Championship Grand Finals. We got a classic NA versus EU bloodbath just waiting to happen. On the one hand, we have ABC. Give it up for him all the way from EU. Absolutely awesome game so far. Show him some love. And of course, the home team from NA, we've got Panda Global. Now, no matter what happens in this matchup, we are gonna be crowning a new BlizzCon champion. If you guys are excited as I am, let me hear it one more time. Now, I'm ready. I think these teams are ready to rock, and as we said before, and as we've seen all day long, you guys are definitely fired up. Let's throw it over to Rich and get it going. Thanks, guys. Let's get this one started, Bashira. We got Panda Global, the Kingslayers, against ABC. And, and you know what? If we got to identify these guys as one thing, they are the geniuses. They have the comps. They're able to break them out all of the time. But the big question that I have for you guys is if it will be enough to counter the comps that we are actually going to see out of Panda Global. My name is Rich Campbell, and I am joined on the desk by Ben Ruki and Supatiz, along with Zico, for all the analysis. So we're going to kick it off with you, Zico. We already heard from ABC that one of the teams they were the most scared of was Sneaky Snakes. Do you think that Panda Global will be able to mirror those scary comps that Sneaky Snakes had and play them into ABC? So what we've seen so far from ABC is that they like to play that arcane mage. They play it phenomenally. They play it with Resto Druid, and they like to play for the late game a lot of the time. But what the uh, Sneaky Snakes were bringing to the table that made them struggle very hard was that Discipline Priest in Amne providing that offensive dispel. Now, on Panda Global, we got Rob Cub. If we see Rob Cub on that Holy Paladin, I think it's going to be an easy game for ABC. However, the Rob Cub on Shaman has been phenomenal throughout this tournament, and that also provides with the Purge, provides with a lot of that utility that you need. So I want to see Rob Cub on Shaman, and I think that this could be anybody's game. One thing that will definitely change the tide of this match just a little bit, unlike our other matches, this one is going to be a best of seven because it is that grand final. Now, Ben Rookie, how do you think that will actually affect the game? Well, we're going to see a lot more of these unconventional maps sort of played out. In this tournament, we haven't seen too much of Blackrock Hold, Blades Edge Arena, and a best of seven. These teams really don't have any choice unless they're able to close it out early. They will get uncomfortable on some of these unconventional maps. Yeah, if this is your first chance actually getting to watch World of Warcraft Arena, map pools always play out in a very similar way. Basically, every time a map is selected, it is removed from that map pool, and you have to choose from one of the maps that is remaining in the pool. But the first game, every time, going to be starting off on Na Grand Arena. It's a blind pick. So these teams have no idea what the other team is going to have in store for them. Sid, what do you expect to see going into this blind pick? Well, I'm cheating a little bit because I can see it, but they're both uh, compositions that we haven't seen very much on the tournament stage, but have been successful when they are played. And really, Panda Global, they've been all about aggression. They, Rub Cub is probably one of the most offensive healers in the game right now, and he will run you down with purges, with the Avenger Crusader on Paladin, and he's not afraid to get in your face. ABC need to do their best to keep Rub Cub out of this fight, or else Panda Global are going to run them over. Yeah, Rosita Jones, Jelly Beans, and Rub Cup have been playing phenomenally in this tournament so far. They were the ones to take down Method Triforce, the two-time BlizzCon champions. They've definitely earned their place in this finals. We have 10 seconds before this game gets underway. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the grand finals at BlizzCon. We're about to deem a new champion. Who can take it here today? ABC versus Panda Global, the comeback kings, the gods slayers themselves this fight is about to start yeah rosita jones looking to get aggressive very early on onto alec who's kiting back nice defensive play coming in from nixie with that incapacitate rosita jones still hasn't used any of his offensive cooldowns that's the bursting shot onto asbrad preemptive iron bark uh, but still not too much use nixie's going to commit the light sweep onto jelly beans and rosita jones a little bit of pressure onto jelly beans alec getting caught into that in prison so he's not going to be able to get out too much damage yeah, there, it seems like Panda Global are just trying to keep Alec on the back foot as Rosita is chasing him down for the hunt. Temporal Shield activated, absorbing some damage, and will heal him.
him back to full quite easily. Nice interrupt there by Rosita on point. Instant arcane missile interrupt. Need to stop that channel as much as possible. Rosita still leading the charge. Jellybean's moving for some crowd control. Askaroth displaces away, avoiding the crowd control. Now Jellybean's under fire, tipping dangerously low, trying to kite away. Rub Cub needs to pick him back up in a hurry. He's definitely afraid of Alec blinking in for a counter spell, but he's positioned well. Jellybean starts to stabilize. Rosita jumps in. Jelly secures the trap. Rosita just needs to get some uptime. Trinkets aggressively. All out aggression onto Alec. Once again, tons of damage, forcing an ice block very early on. Yeah, and Arcane Mages only have that one ice block, so this is very dangerous for Alec. Rosita Jones now out of that metamorphosis, so his damage is going to fall down a little bit. Azroth getting interrupted, getting swapped to a little bit of pressure over onto him, but he's able to easily top himself off. Ironbark toss over onto Alec. Jelly Beans and Rosita Jones looking to push in, commit this damage, and take Alec down, but Alec doing a good job kiting so far, getting interrupted, caught in the middle of the map. Azgroth just spamming out those heals over and over, trying to keep him alive. Yeah, Rub Cub's burned a lot of mana to stay aggressive. They probably have one more attempt to kill Alec before Rub Cub burns the rest of his mana. They need to time the crowd control precisely. Azgroth is kiting away. They know all they have to do is drag this out a little bit longer. Azgroth needs to stay as far away from Jelly Beans as possible. Alec needs to avoid as much damage as possible. But right now, in the middle of the map, this is going to be a favor. The binding shot, unfortunately, the trap misses by a moment. Capacitor Totem, though, to follow. Will Jelly Beans have the crowd control he needs to finish off Alec? Rosita reconnects. They've ran out of crowd control. That binding shot knock trap missed by Jelly Beans. Cost them the opportunity to win the game. And now Rub comes out of mana. Yeah, Jelly Beans, that was his true shot or as well. If he had landed that trap, that could have easily closed it out. Alex still has his arcane power available. Serenity available for Nixie. Jelly Beans going to be in a lot of trouble. Or Rosita Jones. Both of them do not have trinkets. And that's a, not a thing you want to do against a wind oh. walker. They can catch him in the full stun, but the full trap over onto Asgard. He actually preemptively iron barks. This is key to keeping Alec alive. Yeah, now Alec wants to turn up the heat, popping that arcane power, blinking back, trying to bait Rosita behind the pillar. Nixie needs to combo well together with him. They're not getting anything done with the Serenity there. It was a bit of a botched attempt by ABC. You can tell that the stress is on. Rub Cub was trying to sit down for a drink. Nixie denies it. If Rub Cub can find any mana from drinking, he's going to start pressing that purge button again, and Alec will be in trouble. I would like to see Rub Cub look for those more often, but right now he's caught into a stun. Rosita is dipping low, but he's still keeping up the chase. Alec retreating away, but now caught into the Chaos Nova. Nemesis shortly going to be available. Times that Temporal Shield to absorb the pressure. A Temporal Shield perfectly timed. That heals him back to full. Now Jelly Beans is getting bursted down. He's going to trade out Exhilaration, get his heals back up, but uh, Aspect of the Turtle has to be used as well. Rub Cup is almost completely tapped on mana. Can Panda Global keep up the aggression, Vinergy? They have one more chance. It's that Nemesis from Rosita Jones. Once he decides to use that offensive cooldown, you can see it in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, that red icon. He uses that onto Alec, and Alec cannot get away. It's going to be a tremendous amount of pressure. They just need one clean CC chain onto Azgarath. Nixie taking a little bit of pressure, caught into the improvement, trying to slow down some of those incoming heals. Azgarath positioned in the middle of the map right now. Alec doing his best to kite away. Jelly Beans could be in a little bit of trouble. That's a paralysis over onto Rub Cup. Doesn't look like there's going to be any follow up CC. There's a trap. Jelly Beans just tosses the trap over onto Azgarath. Alec needs to be able to keep himself alive, but he lands a perfectly timed polymorph on Rosita Jones, slowing down that Nemesis damage. Once again, Alec stalling at this game beautifully. Mark of Aleneth has been casted by Alec. Jelly Beans will be under fire. Rub Cub deflects with the well placed Earthen, and now Panda Global look to reverse. Alex and Portal Shield. He needs to cut. He needs more time. They're racing against the clock. They don't have enough damage to put him down. Now they're still keeping up. Chase, Alec retreats away. Asgaroth repositions. Rub Cub is tapped on mana. Can he keep Jelly Beans going? Does he have the gas in the tank to fight this out? Alec now popping arcade power. Huge burst available. Missiles flying. Interrupted instantly by Jelly Beans. These instant interrupts on Alec are the only reason Panda Global can stay in this fight. Asgaroth now is soaking an interrupt. Alec looking for Polymorphs. Gets imprisoned on it. Rub Cub's trying to retreat and drink away. They're crowd controlling Nixie to let Rub Cub get a drink. He needs this. Rub Cub needs this. Is he going to get it? No. He didn't get enough mana at all. Now his purges are not going to be the, uh, the factor to end the match. They set that up so well, but unfortunately, Rub Cub just couldn't get the mana back in time. Fortunately, though, Asgaroth has burned through a lot. In the meantime, this is still anyone's match. Yeah, I'll get a lot of trouble. Temporal Shield has been used. He has 15 seconds left on that ice block. Jellybean's going to be popping that true shot aura as well. Rosita Jones has that demon form available, so he can use that. That's going to power his damage a lot. Double Chaos Nova going to be coming in onto Asgaroth as well as Alex. Rosita Jones, though, realizing he's in trouble, having to play a little bit of defense, stalling out the game, coming back, so Rub Cub can actually land out those heals. Alex putting some nice CC out. Nixie taking a little bit of damage. Asgaroth, like you said, though, is almost completely tapped on mana. Yeah, Rub Cub's moving up. He's on top of Asgaroth. Looks like Panda Global want to get something done. 
Uh, Jelly Beans, though, caught into that leg sweep. Trickets instantly. Needs maybe a bit more than that. Fain Death into the Fist of Fear. Rubcom caught into the bash. Askrap looking to follow up. Needs to fake cast the interrupt, so doesn't want to risk it. They go for the Paralyze instead. Is that going to be enough to force the aspect of the Turtle? Instant silence on those missiles. Panda Global are shutting down Alec very well. Rosita pulls the trigger, but gets polymorphed on it. Metamorphosis has been wasted now for Rosita. That huge burst moment completely controlled by Alec. The healers are tapped on mana. We're just setting into dampening. Who's going to come out ahead? Ice block available. I feel like ABC are favored now. ABC's doing a tremendous job with that Mage Druid crowd control, but Alec getting lower and lower. Rosita Jones uses that Nemesis. A lot of person coming on to Alec. Imprisonment, nice imprisonment. imprisonment oh. on that Temp Shield, denying that incoming healing. You look at Rub Cup. He's actually sitting down for a drink right now. This is beautiful. If he can sit, sit down for a drink, it's going to be perfect. But Nixie realizes the situation, stops that. But in the meantime, he's not really able to peel for Alec. Ascroft completely tapped on mana. Alec trying to create as much pressure as he can. Full bash over onto Rosita Jones. That was Mark of Alanith as well. Stun onto Jelly Bean. Serenity going to be available in 15 seconds for Nixie. That's a huge burst opportunity. Jelly Bean's getting lower and lower. Rub Cub sheeped in the middle of the map. ABC looking to close out this game. Aspect of the Turtles going to be traded out. Yeah, and now with Ice Block available, Alex is going to be comfortable. Jelly Beans is trying to set up some crowd control to force that Ice Block. Uh, full stun into no trap available, I guess. Now he's paralyzed away. Alec is kiting behind the pillar. Alec in a good defensive position. Rub Cup got a little bit of mana. That's enough to maybe do three purges. He needs to precisely time these purges. He's going all out right now during the downtime of the Iron Bark, but there's not enough damage to back it up. Asgrath is getting cleaved down a bit. I think that's smart play from Panda Global. Spread their pressure out. They can keep Asgrath on the ropes with about oh, basically zero mana. Alec is just getting free casted on. Jelly Beans is unleashing the assault. It seems like Rosita is getting crowd control by Asgrath, though isn't able to support Jelly Bean's damage. In the meantime, Nixie is pressuring Rub Cub. It's a bit interesting. Now they're going to cycle him out of the stun. Rosita is going to swap to Askarov with a stun of his own. Huge burst with that Fury of Illidari. Nixie shuts him down. Askarov tries to escape behind the pillar. He's completely tapped on mana. Rosita looks like he might gun down for a healer kill. Imprisons him. Rub Cub jumps right on top of Askarov. Setting up to get the kill out of the imprison. Rub Cub gets bashed away. Jelly Beans is in trouble now. Spirit Link told him to stay aggressive. At this moment, we're on the final legs for both sides. Askarov retreating back behind the pillar. Panda Global all dangerously low HP. Panda Rub Cub with no cooldowns to recover from this situation. It's all or nothing at this point for Panda Global. Yeah, Rosita in that metamorphosis right now, still trying to pressure down Asgroth. Bar skin is available. Darkness has been dropped by Rosita Jones. That should be enough to stabilize them for a little while. Nemesis almost back up, but it might not be enough time for Rosita Jones to actually get that off. He's getting pressured down so much. Caught into the stun, getting lower and lower. Rub Cub gets interrupted. Can ABC claim their first game? Rosita Jones gets interrupted. Still trying to kite away. Rub Cub keeping him alive by a miracle. Nixie getting lower and lower. He still has a touch of karma, though. He's going to be completely safe. Yeah, touch of karma will secure Nixie's life. And now Rub Cub is against the ropes with nothing left in the tank, doing his best to stay in this fight. Can they do it? Everybody topped off for ABC. Oh, Nixie! Can they do it? Nixie needs to be careful. If he overextends, he's going to throw the fight. Rub Cub gets locked down, and Alec is looking to secure the game. Rub Cub goes down. Nixie looking like he could fall as well. But at this point, even if Nixie goes down, ABC are surely going to win. And yes, ABC claim game number one of this best of seven finals at BlizzCon. ABC going to secure the blind pick here, and they do it with that arcane mage again, Zico. I love the arcade match pick. I love watching Alec play it. They're playing so, so safe. Alec and Asgaraf constantly switching side on the map. Beautifully done. And I also want to give a big shout out to Nixie because he was on point stopping Jelly Beans time and time again when Jelly Beans was trying to push him and land that trap. The compositions are going to be huge here, though. Do you think that we actually see this Arcane Mage and Windwalker again? It's been a lot of what we have seen recently coming out from ABC, Ben Rookie. Well, ABC, they've been playing Rogue, Arcane Mage, Wrestler Druid, Windwalker, Arcane Mage, Wrestler Druid, the Arcane Mage, Wrestler Druid. Big theme for this team at this BlizzCon. I think the Windwalker Monk is a very safe choice into a Panda Global. Panda Global. I think they're going to be looking for a smaller map going into this blind pick, this draft. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what composition they decide to go with. Maybe Rosita Jones opts to get off the Demon Hunter, go back to that Death Knight on the smaller map. Maybe they'll have enough pressure that way. Let's take a look at how everything did shake out, though, in that first game. Zico, did anything catch your eye? Absolutely, we got some uh, replays coming from that game. And uh, before we get into those, uh, I want to just quickly set the tone here. We got uh, the side of ABC, they just want to survive. And then the side of Panda Global, they want to land those traps, uh, typically off a stun or a bursting shot. And if we roll the clip right now, we can actually see one of those moments. As you can see, Jelly Beans here interrupting Asgrab, moving in for that trap uh, in a second right there. And then look at that bursting shot right there. Asgrab blinking away from that, avoiding that crowd control. Whenever someone does a play like that, 
that, that's 30 seconds added on the clock. And then here we actually see a successful trap onto Asgarath. And that is, this is what happens if they manage to land the trap. Immediate Icebox Force. And then here we see another stun into Bursting Shot. And then take a look at Nixie right there. That paralyzed onto Jelly Beans prevents him from getting that trap onto Asgarath, which means that that's another 30 seconds added to the clock. And every single time you see a play like this happen, that's what happens. And then here we also got the double Chaos Nova. And then follow that up with the double Bursting Shot. However, as soon as that double Chaos Nova landed, Alec already pre-temporal shielded, so he was safe from that play. And then here, no mana left in the tank. The clock has been ran, and Panda Global, unfortunately, goes down in game number one. Well, after watching those key moments, definitely want to know what you at home think. Who do you think is going to be able to take this one? You can place your vote in Twitch chat with either hashtag ABC or hashtag PG, depending on which team you think will take it. We have the advantage of being at BlizzCon right now. Ladies and gentlemen, if you think that it's going to be ABC, make some noise. <laughs> oh man, we got an NA crowd yeah, here. If you crowd. think Panda Global is going to be able to take this one, give them your energy. And look at that poll as well. 49% in favor of ABC, 51 in favor of Panda Global. Even Twitch chat is very undecided. Yeah, we got some EU people hanging out in Twitch chat. I think, <laughs> I think our BlizzCon audience is pretty NA heavy here, Zico. But the big question that I have to ask you guys now that we have already seen these comps play out, what do we expect to see actually go down in game number two? Because now we know that Dalaran Sewers is going to be that map selection. So I want to see Resto Shaman, Hunter, Feral come out of Panda Global. That is their overall best choice against anything that ABC wants to do with an Arcane Mage. You have the Feral Druid, max range, uh, he, uh, even if he gets kited, which is very hard in the first place, he will still have those bleeds ticking in and doing a lot of damage. You also st still have Rub Cub being able to purge and then Jelly Bean still landing those traps. So one of the big things with Panda Global, we've seen them pick up a lot of these wins with all-in strategies. Now, Super Tease, during that last match, you you had to go full Wrath God. I'm going to be completely honest. It was back and forth throughout <laughs> the entire game. Now, do you think they're going to try to go all-in yet again? I, I think it's Panda Global's best shot. The most games that North America has won in this tournament have been all-out aggression. If they focus on defense, Europe always out attritions them. So going offense, offense, offense is probably the only answer for Panda Global. I don't think they should let anything stop that. They were very close in that last game. Maybe if they make swaps to the Monk earlier on, they can catch him with no touch of Karma deep in the dampening. Regardless, Dalaran Sewers is a very small map. It would set up well for the Feral Druid to have good uptime on the Arcane Mage if they opt to change to the Jungle Cleave. But Rosita has been playing phenomenally, and yeah, they're not going to be subbing out Rosita Jones anytime soon. Here we go again. <laughs> Panda Global going to be going with more of the same. It got them all the way to the finals at BlizzCon. ABC, though, seemed to be a rock that's going to be tough to crack. Yeah, and I think uh, one very interesting thing here from ABC is that yesterday, when they had their uh, matchup against Sneaky Snakes, they said that on smaller maps, they prefer the Discipline Priest over that Resto Druid. Now, however, they still pick that Resto Druid on a small map, uh, kind of showing me that maybe Asgard doesn't feel as comfortable on that Discipline Priest and instead going for that Resto Druid. Yeah, I think we definitely will see that when we jump into this next game. But now, Ben Rookie, how can ABC stave this pressure coming in from the NA team? We've already seen them do it once. Is it something they can repeat here? I think they definitely can. I'd like to see from Panda Gaming, though, you know, one Rosita Jones, he has that nemesis, he has that metamorphosis. I really think Rub Cub needs to assist him. Rosita Jones can basically solo down Alec with sheer damage at that point, but he's just getting caught into the polymorphs over and over. If Rub Cub is able to get those dispels on the polymorph, shock the Cyclones, that is going to be what Panda Global needs to secure a win. Keep your eyes on these key plays. ABC leading by one here. Panda Global trying to get back into this one. It is time for game number two. Yeah, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Dalaran Sewers, map number two, ABC in the lead. Europe is striking back. It's been back and forth between Europe and North America this entire tournament. And finally, we're going to be able to settle the score as the gates begin to open. Five seconds getting game two underway. Can Panda Global strike back and tie up this series? Only time will tell. We'll have to see what kind of an opener they go with this game. Looks like Rosita Jones once again going to be charging in, trying to get that initial damage onto Alec. Huge pressure coming in very early on. Interrupt onto Asgrath. This is not a good start for ABC. Alec needs to be able to survive. He's kiting away. Temporal Shield was used. Just using that pillar to line of sight. Rosita Jones able to connect, though. That's the full trap onto Asgrath. Nice imprisonment. Really didn't get too much. That imprisonment was very key. 
That's going to deny the bonus heal from Temporal Shield. Alec will now be at half HP, and Asgroth needs to recover. Alec cutting away. Jelly Beans in hot pursuit. Alec jumps downstairs, line of sighting the hunter. Jelly Beans doesn't care. He's going all out. Lands the bursting shot. Needs to snipe the trap. Doesn't look like he has it available just yet. Alec on the run. Rosita still chasing him down. Alec now displacing back, but he displaced back to Jelly Beans. Jelly Beans can easily start shooting away. That might end up being a mistake for Alec if he can get some damage out here. Asgroth trying to time some heals, looking to fake cast. Alec getting interrupted. Uh, it looks like Jelly Beans wants to land the trap. Asgroth blinks away, but he baited him with the binding shot. Now lands a full trap. Rosita pulls the trigger. Alec times the temporal shield right before the burst. I don't think they have the imprisoned. The imprisoned it was just one second away. I think Asgroth was actually the one that topped him off before. They swapped to Asgroth. Suddenly a huge amount of damage over towards him, and Panda Global can keep these swaps going, that's going to be their win condition, I think. Yeah. Asgroth, no trinket, no bark skin. He's definitely an opening for Panda Global. Alec What's cannot find pressure. So much damage over on Alec right now. He's trying to escape. Arcane power was popped. Tranquility going to be coming in from Asgroth to stabilize his team. But this is what I'm talking about. We need to have Rub Cup there with Rosita Jones. He's spelling these polymorphs, stopping these cyclones. That's going to be key, but it's so difficult. I mean, the Arcane Mage and that Demon Hunter have so much mobility. The poor wrestler Shaman cannot keep up. Yeah, if Rub Cup can get in there and get some purges, Alec, Alec is vulnerable in this position with no Iron Bark on 20 seconds. Rub Cub is pushing up, wind sharing the Arcane Mage. Jelly Beans is looking for crowd control, snipes out that trap. Rosita will connect. Now they need the damage. This is where they need the purges. They have to get an ice block. Temporal Shield, though, is going to deny the pressure. And now Jelly Beans is on the back foot as Panda Global overextend. It could easily be an aspect of the turtle here. Nixie doing a ton of pressure with that strike of the Windlord. Rosita also down at about half health. Double leg sweep lands for Nixie. Asgroth picks his entire team up quite easily. Iron Bark now available. Panda Global are going to be playing from behind from this point on. Rub Cub caught in the polymorph. Rosita predicting the damage. Drops darkness before the Fist of Fury. Nice read by Rosita predicting that damage. Yeah, Jelly Beans is doing a phenomenal job in this game at being Rub Cub's babysitter, making sure he's stopping all the follow-up crowd control to keep his team alive. Double Chaos Nova coming in from Rosita Jones. Alec trying to run away once again, but the Demon Hunter all over him. Rosita Jones looking to secure that first ice block. Alec going to be hiding away. Still has Temporal Shield. You're going to have to actually pop it. Maybe a little bit too late. Incapacitate over on Rosita Jones. Alec using that displacement to cross the entire map, but it gets lower and lower. Knight's not coming in from Jelly Beans. A lot of pressure still over on Alec. He gets interrupted by Rub Cub. This is beautifully done. Asgard popping out that Iron Bar, deflecting some of this incoming damage, but Alec still not getting topped off, and that imprisonment coming in from Rosita Jones doing such a good job preventing Asgard to actually top him off. Yeah, and Jelly Beans is under fire. They swap over to Rub Cub. Nice swap by ABC. Completely Whoa! caught off guard and completely destroyed. ABC going up 2-0 in this series by ABC and it's not very often you see them get excited on stage but right now they can smell the blood in the water they are going to try to close this one out but I do want to know they are not on match point yet this one is going to be a best of seven now it looks like this composition is just getting worked on Zico you've talked about the power of arcane mage but what is it about it when it is paired with this windwalker that is making it so deadly it just makes it so sturdy. You can't really die that easily with a Windwalker. The Windwalker can provide you with speed buffs. The Windwalker can dispel the silence from Jelly Beans. The Windwalker can stun up everybody and uh, incapacitate whenever Jelly Beans is moving in for those traps. And the fact that the Windwalker can be so disruptive, almost like a warrior, but even more mobile, is what really enables this composition. And then pair that with the fact that he has Serenity and then Arcane Power and that they can just kind of use those every 45 seconds if they rotate, it just makes it a very deadly combination. Let's actually take a look at some of the plays that will back that all up. Zico, what caught your eye? So we have very, very high individual skill level going on right now because uh, we, if we go ahead and roll this clip right there, you can see Asgraf is caught into that trap right there, and then Alec drops that temporal shield, and then Rosita Jones negates that temporal shield healing by imprisoning him right there. And then we also have a nice double leg sweep there, and then Asgraf here tries to blink away from the trap, doesn't manage to, and then Rosita Jones comes in, and the moment while he's in the air still, there is the temporal shield, but they still get the Asgraf trinket there. Here we have another double leg sweep as well from Nixie, making sure that every single time Alec is moving around that pillar and then he comes across like that. Uh, wait, wait, here we got the uh, darkness right before the stun as well. So uh, constantly these players are just reading the situation before it happens and reactive to it, reacting to it preemptively. And this I really like. They sheep up or up cup, tank up all the kicks and then there, double missiles. Follow that up with the leg sweep. Nixie as well with that late serenity coming in to seal the deal there on Rub Cup. It's just... You just see so many small, small details that matter so much because these players are constantly thinking five or ten seconds ahead in the game, and that is why they're both in the finals. It's also no question that ABC is a terrifying team. I mean, 
we were so close to having history. We were so close to having the first ever NA NA final in any BlizzCon game. Like that has never happened before. ABC, the team that is able to end that run for NA, for Method Synergy, and now they are here on the main stage looking incredible with two wins in their back pocket. They're only gonna need two more to do it. They almost fell apart as a team as well. Alec not having the best run last year back in 2016 finally decides to come back with this squad as team pulls him out. They're looking absolutely insane. They're playing against Panda Global, and everyone has counted this team out again and again. You know, I was sitting backstage, and Panda Global was watching the last series against Method Synergy, and Panda Global was ecstatic that ABC won. They were more terrified of Method Synergy overall as a team, but now at this point, when they were cheering and laughing backstage about their opponents, I don't think they're laughing anymore as ABC are looking to be almost unbeatable. The thing is, though, as we've counted them out so many times before, I don't think two games is something that can hold this team back. They may be able to jump back in. Their map selection going to be Ruins of Lord Around. We're going to tighten it up. We're going to bring it up real nice and close. ABC, with this knowledge, going to pick their composition for game. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting to see if they decide to go with that Discipline Priest. We've seen them do that before, going with that Windwalker Arcane Mage, but bringing the Discipline Priest on the smaller map, Alex not going to have those hots to really kite around as effectively on the smaller map. So just having the sheer healing coming in from that Priest can be beneficial, but they have looked so solid on that Druid Arcane Mage Windwalker so far in this tournament. I really feel like they've hit their stride, and Pan Global has to figure something out. Now, Zico, you were the one who actually highlighted that first, that they like to play that Discipline Priest on the smaller map. Do you think that they will actually break it out here? I think they're going to stick with the... Oh, never mind. They are going <laughs> to go ahead and pick that Discipline Priest, a smaller map. I do like that. My biggest question now is, yesterday we saw Asgraf running that Dark Archangel, which gives you that extra punch in the opener, and later on, every one minute. Do you think that they will still be running that uh, Dark Archangel, or do you think that they're just going to play a little bit more standard uh, than Rookie? Well, I think it's a very dangerous decision. I mean, Alec on the Arcane Mage, Nixie on the Windwalker Monk. If they decide to do an all-in onto Rub Cup, they can definitely kill a Shaman in the opener with those very powerful offensive cooldowns. The problem with Dark Archangel is that once that's gone, it doesn't have as much healing. It's going to be very difficult with Rosita Jones and Jelly Beans with the amount of pressure they've been able to put out in those first two games. I don't know if he's going to be able to heal through it and afford to drop that Archangel. He'd also be putting an all-in strategy straight into North America, who just seems to be excelling at these all-in strategies. We've seen EU being really good at taking it to the late game, sometimes trying to play dampening, playing more defensive, waiting for slight errors to come in. Now, Super Teens, do you think that's going to be the rhythm still? All in coming in from North America, and then ABC trying to stave it off. Ooh. You know what? When you're in trouble, you bring in the Walla Bear. Let's see how Walla Bear is going to perform in these finals. He's been sitting in back seat, but he's going to be stepping into the driver's seat for this one. Jungle Cleave on Ruins of Lordaeron. There is nowhere you can hide as a mage. Let's see if Panda Global can keep up their aggression. That is not a situation you want to be in on the main stage, trying to find shelter from Walla Bear on Ruins of Lordaeron. This may be where Panda Global is able to turn it around and pick up a game for themselves. But we do know ABC has probably thought about this strategy quite a bit, has probably thought about the Jungle Cleave because they already have had to play against the Sneaky Snakes. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that ABC already having some experience in this matchup can, can be very, very big for them. And I actually think that they should be running that Dark Archangel because the jungle tends to kill you in those uh, crowd control setups. Outside of those setups, you're not going to be in a whole world of trouble if you're Alec and you, if he keeps kiting the way he's been doing, I think that they can actually afford to run it. And the, the, the good thing about this is that you can actually go in and get a really, really big opener on the hunter, forcing him to be more defensive. And Panda Glow Global tends to be the team that likes to run offense, so we'll see how that works. One of the other things, though, Zico, that I do want to follow up with is this Arcane Mage into this composition. How strong do you think it'll be? I think the Arcane Mage can be very susceptible, but it's key for Rub Cup to be running at Alec basically the entirety of this game and holding down that perch button. We want to see bleeds on Alec from Wallabear the entirety of the game, and then just tons and tons of damage and purges. That's their win condition. This is a quick game either way, no matter who wins. Well, it's time to see, will Wallabear be able to guide Panda Global to a win against ABC? Yeah, ABC are boldly going to be playing the Dark Archangel from 
Askarov. I think that's a smart play. When you're two up in the series, bring a heavy, hard-hitting, aggressive play to try and close out to the final match. And Panda Global is going to have to be on their tippy toes to survive this initial assault. Yeah, but Panda Global known for getting super aggressive in these matchups. Wall of Bears popping that incarnation in a ton of damage. So wait for that moment. That's when they're going to want to get really aggressive. Alec in invisibility right now, looking for some crowd control. Maybe she'll be able to find it on the Rub Cub. All right, we can see Nixie pulling the trigger. Dark oh. Angel pop, tons of damage, huge oh. pressure. One shot, one kill. ABC up 3-0 in this series. One win away from 4-0 in Panda Global. In NA. This is what I'm talking about. If you run that Dark Archangel against the Hunter, you have that mass in this sheep from stealth. And we know that Rub Cub likes to run that electric U talent, so there's no grounding totem to counter that play. Then when you land that sheep, you, you have, just have to be very, very reliant on Nixie, stunning up Jelly Beans Trinket before that deterrence. And if you're not experienced as a hunter with this type of one shot, then you are gonna be caught off guard as we just saw right now. This was a beautifully planned game coming from ABC. And you know, this was just textbook. Now I have said a few times today that you can't count Panda Global out until it's over, but this is definitely the worst situation that they could have found themselves in, and this is definitely the most dire. Let's take a look at that last game and just see how quickly, honestly, the replay may just be even the whole match. <laughs> that one was over real quick, Zico. Yeah, so right now, the key things that have happened so far in the match is that Alec has successfully avoided that flare. So that means that he can take his time now and move over to Rub Cub. And as you can see here, he's already activated that mass invisibility. If you look to your center left of your screen, and then now he's casting a polymorph, which is uninterruptible. So that's why Rub Cub actually tanks this poly. If you go ahead and, and roll the clip. So there it is, full poly onto Rub Cub. Then he blinks forward so he can use his orb. And then Walla Bear comes in there with the stun, immediately trinketed, and then Jelly Beans actually trinket slightly after the stun. Nixie quick with the restun on that trinket. Don't let that slow motion fool you. And then there it is. The Serenity, the Arcane Power, just taking him down in one second with that Palm Arcane Blast, doing tons of damage. Now we want to know what you guys at home think. Are you going to side with ABC or against all odds? Are you going to put your chips on Panda Global? This is going to be a really tough one, but you can jump on into Twitch chat, hashtag ABC or hashtag PG. It's pretty tough to, to type that hashtag PG right now. <laughs> I don't think we've had a stomp like this in the grand finals for quite some time. It actually almost always goes to game seven. Uh, Panda Global could surprise us. I gave them a 0.01% chance to take the tournament earlier. They slayed the gods, met the Triforce themselves earlier on. So with that 0.01% chance, they might be able to create a miracle here and swing this series four back. I mean, either way, you're going home as legends. They just cut down one of the toughest teams we have ever seen in a World of Warcraft esports. Let's see if they can keep the dream alive. We're going to jump to a quick break, let them get ready. But when we return, we're going to be crowning our champion.
The 2017 World of Warcraft Arena World Championship is brought to you in part by Republic of Gamers, Intel, T-Mobile, and NVIDIA. We are on match point. ABC just needs one more here to be your new BlizzCon champions. My name is Rich Campbell. I am your host. And joining me to cast this grand final, we have Ven Ruki and Supatis. And then for his expert analysis, we have broken out the Mage King, Zico, on the edge of this desk. Before we jump in, do you think ABC is going to be able to close it out here? I don't know. The first game was definitely not really telling in the jungle matchup versus the Windwalker Mage. I think that the jungle will be doing better if Jellybeans kind of just respects the one-shot potential there and uh, just instantly Trinkets uses his deterrence and then Wallabear is actually going to be able to put out a lot of pressure on that Mage. So I definitely think it's not going to be one-sided. I'm going to give Panda Global definitely at least one game, especially now on their map pick. They can still pick a small map as well. So Yeah, I mean, the question is too, do we see Wallabear broken out again? I wonder if Panda Global are going to crack and play some questionable comps or stick to their mains. But I kind of know how Panda Global feel right now. I'm surrounded by Arcane Mages on the desk. I bet they're feeling surrounded right now by Alec. His swap over to Arcane has definitely been profitable to get them all the way to this point. They're one win away from doubling down on their money and being the BlizzCon champions of 2017. We are about to jump into this game as well. Give it up for both of these teams. All right, casters, I think they're ready. Let's jump on in. Yeah, ABC has been taking everyone to school in this tournament. Can they close out this grand finals with a clean sweep? Panda Global on that jungle fleet going to be looking to stop their reign. Get back in this series, we'll have to see. Yeah, do you, do you call ABC or Animal Control to get rid of this pest control problem for Panda Global? Because it, it seems like they're just going to get stomped out. Jellybeans, Wall and Rub Cub need to keep a level head here. It's their last opportunity. Can they pull this series back four in a row? Or will ABC crush them outright? Wallet Bear leading the charge, waiting for his stun. He wants to make sure Jellybeans can back him up. Now landing the bash. Jellybeans moves in, lands the trap. But Alec is already on the run. Nixie peels him away. Serenity popped. Rub Cub needs to be ready. Tons of damage potentially here. Good peels from Jelly Beans, getting Nixie off of Walla's back. Walla has survived the initial onslaught of that Serenity threat, and now with that out of the way, they need to go, go, go. Yeah, Earthen Shield Totem used by Rub Cub there, deflecting that initial Serenity. Another incapacitate on the Walla Bear. Nixie doing an excellent job in this game on that Windwalk Monk, making sure to get a lot of control over on the Walla Bear. Mark of Allen, it's going to be cast out by Alec onto Walla Bear, so he could be in a little bit of trouble now into the full bash. He does actually has his trinket, but opting not to use it. A lot of first on the Walla Bear right now. Rub Cub able to get some heals. The incapacitate on the Rub Cub, Walla Bear getting lower and lower. Trinkets out, potentially a little bit too late, using that survival instincts as well, so that uh, delay on that trinket may have caused that overlap and defensive oh, cooldowns. Man. Alec just looks untouchable. Look at him navigating the map. Finally, Wallabear finds a moment to strike. Rub Cub landing a stun. Alex still, though, on the run behind the Tiger statue. Asgroth displacing back to his side. Nixie in a 1v3 over here. I'd like to see maybe switch some damage to him, get Asgroth to switch the hots over, spend some more mana. This is obviously going to be a longer match with the way Alec is kiting this out and extending the match. Rub Cub, Jelly Beans, Wallabear looking like they want to move across the map. Rub Cub, though, needs to be careful. He got erased on Dalaran Sewers. If he positions badly, the same could happen here. Yeah, Wallabear using that incarnation and really not getting too much done. Nixie with the Serenity putting a lot of pressure over onto Jelly Beans. Full bash onto Rub Cub. Jelly Beans can be able to survive with that exhilaration. That's a full trap on Asgroth, though he has no trinket available. Alec needs to make sure he's kiting away. Uses that invisibility for damage reduction. Excellently done by Alec. He has a temporal shield as well. True Shot Aura is going to be popped by Jelly Beans. Panda Global committing a lot of offensive cooldowns and really not getting too much done. Yeah, that temporal shield was perfectly timed by Alec. You can tell that he's ready to take this series cut and clean. Everything to perfection. Asgard trying to displace away from the trap. Jelly Beans mind gaming him. Now catching him into the bursting shots. Into the full trap. Nice play by Jelly Beans. But now he's on the back foot. Nixie putting it to him. Walla can't chase after the mage. He's going to go after the monk instead. And I actually like this play. I feel like the arcane mage is almost untouchable. They need to stop overextending at this point. They're going to end up throwing the match. Walla's trying to chase them down. He's got both of them in his sights. Just dotting them up. Asgard reconnecting. The whole team dipping low here. Asgard with a well-timed artifact. Back, though should boost that AOE healing now Alec looking to turn up the heat popping that arcane power what can he get done Wallace stuns him Alec trickets out blinking back to the pillar Alec really not getting too much done with this arcane power
power. Nyx to try to force the, some pressure though with the Fist of Fury. Serenity available. Rub Cub's team is all below half. He's in desperation to recover. Ascendance popped, healing boosted, and now Panda Global have stabilized. We need to keep a level head, man. This is the entire tournament on this match. Yeah, leg sweep on the wall bear. ABC still trying to pressure down their team for this. They've been all over the place. Panda Global needs to definitely be on their toes as all three of them are a great target. Azgrath getting pressure down though. That's gonna be the Bark Skin. So Bark Skin, no trinks available for Azgrath. Panda Global may have found an opening. We've seen them slight resto Druids in the past. Nixie getting lower and lower as well. Azgrath having a difficult time topping off his team. Alec trying to kite away, but Walla Bear's all over him, chasing him down. Alec still kiting away on that Arcane Mage. Wild Growth gonna be coming in from Azgrath. Walla Bear actually missing that interrupt there, unfortunately for him. So that's big healing coming in from Azgrath. Yeah, Alex still the primary target here as Jelly Beans is crowd controlling Asgrath behind the pillar. Full trap has landed. Uh, Asgrath opting to trinket out. Will the trinket be enough on its own or will Alec have to ice block? Heights away, another temporal shield. Perfectly timed. Wall is overextending. He was aware of that right away. Comes back to Rub Cub. Now moving the opposite direction to reconnect to Alec. Alex instant dispel on that silence. Really well timed by ABC. Now he can easily kite away. Uh, the split pressure though is costing Asgrath some mana. If they can force more wild growth casts. Asgrath looking for some cyclones. Gets shut down. Jellybean's looking to try and trap, but Nixie peels him away with the Fist of Fury. Can Asgrath escape the crowd control? Looks like he's managed to get away, slip away from that trap. Jellybean's is still the primary target. Panda Global are still in it, defensive cooldown-wise. Mana-wise, they're not looking too good, and ABC are looking to run the clock. And yeah, Wall Bear has that incarnation. Jellybean's has the true shot over those two major offensive cooldowns. Alec or Asgrath could be in a lot of trouble. They may make that Resto Druid swap once again. They could do an all-in because he does not have that trinket available. Incapacitate on the Wall Bear. Polymorph onto Jellybean's. ABC's realizes they might be in trouble right now, trying to slow down this game. Rub Cub getting soloed right now by Nixie, who has that touch death. He has the serenity. That's the full bash on Asgrath into the full trap. Alex still kiting away, committing the arcane power onto Rub Cub. Rub Cub realizing the situation, immediately using that astral shift, but they might be able to just shred through. That's the full leg sweep onto Rub Cub. If they can get a follow-up stun, could be in big trouble. Going to be throwing out that spear link totem. Alex, Alex, Alex getting lower and lower. Oh. That is the ice block coming in from Alex. Big cooldowns coming out from both teams. Yeah, Alex got aggressive there. And Panda Global punished him. Rub Cub, though, still getting trained down now into the Polymorph as they look for a swap. Wallet Trinkets responds instantly to those arcane missiles coming out. He got fake cast on the Skull Bash. Nice play by Alec. He gets another Polymorph. Wall Bear still going to be on the back foot. Can Rub Cub re-stabilize in this position? It must be so devastating mentally to be so low on mana and trying to keep your team going. They have a couple more opportunities. If they get another good crowd control chain before 10 seconds has elapsed, Asgrab will have no Trinket. Jelly Beans needs to be laser focused. He's moving in. He lands the stun. He lands the trap, but Asgarath read the crowd control. He pre iron barked before running into the stun, and as a result, Alec takes zero damage. Yeah, he is doing such a good job displacing once again to the middle of the map, blinking back to the safety of his healer. Alex has been doing an insane job in this matchup. Oh, no, that Jelly, Beans. Up. Jelly Beans caught in the stun. Really, not too, too much damage is going to be found. That is a nice bursting shot coming in from Jelly Beans, slowing it out. Actually, Rub Cup oh, got one tick. immediately gets stopped. Alec now caught into that silence. Good job by Jelly Beans interrupting Asgarath, getting that silence onto Alex as well. Back on the wall bear into a fist of fury stun to interrupt on the rub cub abc looking to close out this game with the full polymorph wall bear into that bear form trying to tank out some of this damage arcane power almost available for alex that might be exactly what he needs to close out this game yeah rub cub needs to pop that ascendant soon his entire team is dipping dangerously low he's trying to play it greedy right now i really don't like that play jelly beans are so low rub cub's trying to fake cast the interrupts he's in a difficult mind game against alec right now to get these healing waves he manages to land a couple alec now on the run retreating back behind the pillar another well-timed temporal though will deny the kill yet again arcane Whoa. power pop wall overextended full clone has been landed and abc are looking to get a clean 4-0 wall against vortex back in the line of sight barely hanging on rub cup doing everything in his power to keep wall in this fight and he doesn't wall stays alive excellently done there by panda global rub cup gets interrupted though wall bear still in a lot of trouble panda global looking to turn around this pressure over onto alex still no ice block available for another two minutes. Uh, Panda Global does have some offensive cooldowns coming up. That's a full trap on the Asgrath. He trinkets out of that. Realizing they could Whoa. be in trouble. Wants to stay ahead. Walla Bear getting lower and oh. lower though. This is the uh, true shot or coming in from Jelly Beans. Alex needs to be able to kite away. Walla Bear though in a lot of trouble as well. This is do or die for Panda Global. Yeah, Walla Bear needs 20 seconds on Incarnation. That's going to be his last shot at finding victory. Asgrath denying the kill. Cycloning Walla up. ABC are just looking to run the clock. They're playing it safe. They're avoiding the damage. They went all in on third game, fourth game, they're playing safe. Wallet caught in the stun lock. There's nothing left for him. Can Rub Cub do it again? Missiles are flying. Healing wave after healing wave. Rub Cub is looking to deny another kill. Wallace sees the lock. They swap over to Jelly Beans. Jelly Beans has aspect of the turtle, though. He can easily deflect this. He needs to go all in. Incarnation available. Jelly Beans aspects of the turtle. Panda Global are on their last legs. Can they connect? 
or will they fall? Asgroth now into the binding shot. If they can land that full trap, Alec needs to be able to kite away. He's caught to the silence right now. Still just preemptively line of sighting. Wallabear has to chase him down, but he is in so much trouble. No more survival instincts. Incarnation available. He gets stunned up behind the pillar. Missiles. Serenity has oh. been popped. So much damage coming in, but that spirit wing totem from Rub Cup will keep him alive. Yeah, and Wallabear needs to get something going. He's had incarnation available for so long, but he's been on the back foot. He's going to pull the trigger. Can he do enough damage to kill Alec? Is the question. Catching him into the stun block. Walla has to go all in. He jumps behind the pillar. It's all or nothing at this point. Rub Cup jumps in. Jelly Beats moves forward, but they just can't keep up with Alec. Alex Kite is insane. They're doing their best. Walla stampeding back to the target. No cooldown for Alec. If they can connect for any amount of time, he will fall. He uses the greater infants. Gets the damage reduction. It's not going to be enough. Walla's going all in. Now cut behind the pillar, though. And Rub Cup has nothing. How is he going to keep him alive? Rub Cup does it again. He keeps Walla alive. Alec getting stolen by Jelly Beats. Walla jumps over for the sun. Alec is still on the run. Barely hanging on. Blinks back in line side. Jelly. Bursty shot connects. Bad the glove marker. Almost there. Ice block comes back. Ice up. block again. Man, they were so close. Silence over onto Asgard, though, as they turn their attention over onto him. We are at 25% dampening. How has Rub Cup kept his team alive? I don't know if he can hold on much longer. Asgard looking for the cycle and he gets interrupted. Full stun onto Jelly Beans. Trinketing out of that. Doesn't want to take too much unnecessary damage. That's the full trap onto Asgard. Oh, no. Bark the skin as well. Full polymorph onto Rub Cup. Jelly Beans looking to survive a little bit longer. Rub Cup still spamming out those healing blades. How is keeping his team alive. This? How is he keeping his team alive? Counter spell land, but they're still going. They're still chasing him down in defiance to find this kill. Jelly Beans jumps on top. Alec blinks away. Asgroth is desperately trying to keep up. Nixon peels him away. Serenity pops. Arcane power available. ABC have one big punch left to throw back at Panda Global. And Rub Cup has no man to deal with it. Yeah, Alec putting a lot of pressure on it. Walla Bear, though. Survival instincts has been popped. Once that phase, he's in so much trouble. Incapacitate on Rub Cup. Alec using the arcane power. They want to win this series. Four to zero. Full cyclone on to Walla Bear, though. Asgroth now caught into that full trap. Alec once again preemptively running away, just making it impossible for Panda Global to take him down. Panda Global are fighting this out valiantly, but I think they have just ran out of time. ABC have ran the clock. Walla Bear literally has nothing left. Rub Cup just spamming as many heals as he can, but with dampening so high, Walla Bear can't even recover. Can Walla find the kill? Asgroth blinks away. Alec looks untouchable. Walla's dipping low. He can't afford to go in. He's Whoa. caught no hard plays, and there's nothing left. Rub Cup doing his best, but there's nothing left in the tank. Walla's trying to run away, trying to stay alive as long as possible to buy his team any sort of opportunity, but everybody is dead. ABC are in the driver's seat as Nixie is going to close this. I can't believe this. Rub Cup is still defiantly keeping Walla alive, but finally, Serenity connects, and ABC, please sweep the finals. ABC serves up the hot 4-0. Give it up for the new champions of the world. You can dethrone the king, but you cannot cause Europe to fall. They are the best region in the world, and they do it perfectly in one of the most convincing BlizzCons we had ever see give it up one more time for abc what beautiful play rub cup didn't need no stinking mana but i'm at the end they managed to close it out beautifully played on both sides but abc is undeniably the best team in the world and our champions of the world of warcraft arena world championship 2017 Absolutely phenomenal performance coming out of ABC, playing to their win conditions. This game was super close. That final ice block coming up in the nick of time, saving Alec in a seemingly impossible situation where he would have to survive. Absolutely phenomenal job coming out of these guys and absolutely can't count out Panda Global either. What a great team. What a Cinderella story. All the way to the finals, they managed to ride out that hype train. So you got to give it up for Panda Global as well. Absolutely great World of Warcraft PvP today. The fact that they made it here is just so insane. They were counted out time and time again. You even look at how the team was formed. Look at the story that happened with Rub Cub. Almost just, just left with no team. He 
puts this team together, and they're absolutely insane. And I hope that they stay together. I hope we see them up on this stage again next year, but you have to give it up for ABC. These guys are just so insane. The entire year we've been looking at them. This was their year. They played so many different compositions to get here. They are one of the most flexible teams we have ever seen, but they get to do it ultimately with Alec on the mage. Yeah, ABC, like I said, taking everyone to school at this BlizzCon. Alec on that mage winning BlizzCon. He is the second mage ever to win BlizzCon in history, doing an incredible hey. job. And you can see <laughs> just how happy these guys are. Take them all, boys. Those are all yours. You have earned it. Give it up one more time for your world champion. Absolutely beautiful play coming out from them as well. Words cannot even describe how much they deserved it. A perfect series coming out from them. A 4-0 victory, Venruki. Yeah, it was textbook, honestly. Playing at Windwalker, Arcane Mage, Resto Druid. They figured it out to perfection. Man, take the podiums too. Take the whole stage. You have earned it all. You are officially the champions. Just so impressive on the BlizzCon main stage as well. I still cannot believe it, and I am so happy to see them here. This team has worked so hard to make it up here, but what a crazy year it was. The competition stiffer than ever before. We have just seen so many teams. We look at the top six, any of them could have won BlizzCon. This new point system, though, was something that these guys really thrived in. I think when we actually look at the big picture, they were just one of the teams that was primed to take the whole thing. Absolutely. I mean, they had such a rocky road as well coming here. They lost three to two narrowly earlier this week against the Sneaky Snakes. They managed to come back to the drawing board, figure out a new way to come back, and they managed to do it big. And that is the sign of a champion. If you manage to lose, if you manage to bring it back, that is what a champion needs to be able to do. And they did it valiantly. Well, now we have Bajira on the floor with our champions. Let's hear what they have to say. <laughs> Hey, thanks, Rich. I am standing by with our new World of Warcraft Arena World Champions, ABC. Give it up for them one more time, guys. Show them some love. What an amazing story that you guys have had. I think that your story is a big tale of redemption. I feel like, Alec, you nearly walked away, but then your buddies pulled you back in. And I know that this win means a lot to you guys, because obviously, not only are you guys the best team in the world, but you guys, I also I understand, are good friends. How much does that factor in to your success? What does that mean to you guys? Uh, that we won BlizzCon. It, it means so much. I, like, we never thought we were just coming and win. Like, no team that wins BlizzCon, except maybe, maybe Metal Triforce, they like, thought a couple times they would win, but no team that wins BlizzCon think they're going to win BlizzCon. So it's like insane that we actually won. Like, it feels so good. We're back. Yeah, you guys definitely are back, but absolutely dominant performance in that final. Let me, let me scoot over here and talk to Alec just for a moment here, because Alec, this is a story that we've talked to you about quite a bit. You nearly walked away from the game, and these guys pulled you back in. When they said, Alec, we can do this, is this what you had in mind, standing on this stage as a BlizzCon champion? Honestly, I, I never expected this. Um, th placing second in Cologne actually was a surprise. I was like, wow, my team's really good. Like, I barely played that. And then for BlizzCon, I had mixed feelings. Like, Method Tripers is such a powerhouse. We knew they were the team to beat, and yeah, wow. I, I, I'm without words. I never expected this. This is unbelievable. I imagine that speechlessness is a perfectly fine response to becoming the new BlizzCon champion. I want to I'll talk to Nixie just for one moment. Because Nixie, you played out of your mind on multiple classes, played Rogue, played Monk, played Warrior. I feel like you definitely had a standout performance here, and you definitely seem fired up on stage. What does this win mean to you, man? It means everything to me. We had no expectations when we came here. Like, it's my first BlizzCon. We literally wouldn't believe we would win ever, but it happened. I don't know, I'm speechless as well. Like, I can't believe it. <laughs> and Kara, look a, little, look a little emotional over here, man. And this is a story that we've heard as well with you, is that you've come close before. Didn't quite get it done. You teamed up with these guys, and now you are on stage as the BlizzCon champion you always knew that you could be. How does that feel? Feels really good, feels really good. I got lucky. I got carried so, so, so much. I got, I'm lucky, I'm lucky. I definitely can agree with, with the part that you are a bit lucky, but not that you got carried. I saw that Hunter gameplay. That was pretty standout stuff right there. You definitely had a strong performance. 
And one last thing is obviously you guys had a ton of people hanging out with you guys today in the crowd. You've got a lot of support from around the world. Do you have anything to say for your fans watching from home? I don't know. Thank you to all my friends. Like, shout out to all the people in my Battle.net friends. And shout out to our player manager, Chase. He was great. Whole, whole event. And that's it. <laughs> well, fantastic. We're going to let you guys bask in the glory of your new BlizzCon World Champion titles. But for here, down on the stage, definitely want to thank everybody who was watching here in attendance today. You guys are fantastic. The energy all day long was amazing. Everybody watching from at home, from around the world, you guys are tremendous. Events like this and moments like this are because of the support that we've gotten from the World of Warcraft community around the world. So thank you all for being here. Thank you all for watching. And until next BlizzCon, we'll see you in Azeroth. Thanks for watching, guys.